make your AC work the best it possibly can and smell great again and get rid of that nasty, musty, bacteria-laden smell that you pick up every time you turn it on. Okay, the first thing you need to do is find your AC condensation drain tube. If you cannot find that up underneath your vehicle, start your vehicle up and let your AC run until you start to see the drip on the pavement. Follow the tube up. All right, if you let it run long enough, you'll find it. As you can see, it's starting to drip out right there. This is on a Yukon, which is on the passenger side. See that coming out of there? That's how much water comes out of your condensation tube. Right up there. That's the pipe you want. It took about five minutes of the vehicle running. What we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're actually going to go over a little bit about your system. This is pretty much a default system. They're designed different for each car, but this is how it usually works. You have your air intake here. You have your blower right here. This is your evap pipe. This is your condensation drain pipe right here. This is where you will administer your foam and disinfectant. It will go into your air box through your evap, cleaning all that out, killing all the germs, just to give you an idea how it all works. None of it will go into any critical areas. We've done this for years and years, and I think you're going to be totally elated with how this works to disinfect your AC system and make it smell awesome for a very, very long time. That's all I really wanted to share with you on this to kind of give you an idea how it all goes. Finding the drain pipe for your condensation is key. All right, now I know a lot of people have their different ways and different methods they do things. That's great. We're just sharing with you how we do it and how it's worked for us for years. All right, we're gonna do a rundown here on how to disinfect totally your whole AC system if you have really bad smells. And I just wanna go over this real quick so that you can take the extra step to make sure that your whole process here comes out perfectly. This is the extra can that we're going to use right here. This is the hose that you want that comes with this can here. But this cap right here fits on top of the larger can. And they're to two totally different companies. So first off, if you want to totally disinfect your system, you're going to take your Ziploc bag barely open, take your disinfectant spray and spray it in the bag. Just like that. And now you can see it's down here in the bottom. Now you're going to take a cap off of whatever you've got. Nothing too big paint cap off a spray can will work and all you do is pour that into the cap just like that and there's extra in there if we need it then you'll take your syringe and we'll use a blunt nose syringe on this all the tools will be in the show more of the video description. This happens to be a non-blunt nose, it's got a pointed end on it. But all you do is suck up, and we like to put about two, two milliliters to three milliliters in. We'll let the air out. You just hold it upside down so the needle is up and push the air out, that way you can suck more in. 
Okay, we're going to go with two milliliters right there. Now you'll put the cap back on it, and just before you'll actually shove this pipe up in, but just before you do that, you will take your cap off and you'll inject this into the tube. Two milliliters in. All right. You'll keep this, you'll be doing this under the car because if you tip this down, it's going to drain out. Now you'll take your can and when you snap this on, like I said, it's going to come out. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it in this quart jar right here so you can kind of get an idea what it looks like when it comes out of there. But when you first snap it on with this up inside your evaporator drain tube, the cleaning foam and the disinfectant will come out all at the same time. Now hopefully you can see this down in there. You will not have a better smelling, more disinfected AC system anywhere. This is one of the tricks that we've done. We've had customers rave about how well their car smelled and the mold and mildew and all those germs are gone. So there is the foam with the disinfectant and that's what it'll do when it goes inside your evaporator, your heater core, all the areas inside your climate control box and system, okay? So this is one of our top secret secrets that we're sharing with you and it's no longer a secret. So let's go make it happen, Cap'n. All right, guys and gals, we are underneath a Honda and here is the evaporator drain tube right here on a 2003 Civic. And you can see it curls right up and goes up inside into the heater box. This will disinfect and clean everything out. And this is the Honda that had the really, really bad mice infestation inside the cabin filters. All right, and all you do is push your pipe up into your condensation tube as far as it'll go until it stops. So just keep it up in, keep your pipe up in there. And what I do is I put my thumb right over it to seal it. Now we're pumping it right into the evaporator. But if you put your thumb over it, it seals it up so it doesn't come out of there. Then you want a catch pan that will catch all the drippings coming out of the dirt and all that that's in your evaporator. Another thing you want to remember, you'll let this set for 15 minutes. After that, then you'll start the system up, put your AC on low, and run your AC for five minutes or so. And it'll clean out everything. And this will make your AC smell better, disinfect it, clean it, no more mildew, and it will cool really, really well. It'll work way, way better. Here's what we do that's different. We let it set 15 minutes. You keep this piece right here, this tube, and then we'll use a larger can. And of course, this is the only one we found that'll fit another company's cap and we'll inject that in there as well. So we'll do it twice if your system is really dirty and bad and we'll use this and you can use the same nozzle. You just do that number. So we got 15 minutes to wait now. All right, what we're going to do is take a clean tub like this one right here and we're going to drain it into that which you'll want one anyhow once you do the job you'll want something for the uh, condensation drain tube to drain all the stuff that you pumped in there out all the dirt and everything so this is going to go here and we're going to drain it into that and see what we have at the end of this just how much garbage we pulled out of there all right we're ready to do it the second time we have our next can here, the larger one. Pump that up in there as well. Plug your hand over the hole, your thumb, 
while you're holding the tube. You can see the foam building up in my hand. I'm holding it back pretty good. And this is really an affordable way to do it because this single larger can is much cheaper, but you need this hose here to use it. And again, we'll let this set 15 minutes. I'll kink the hose off so it doesn't drain out. You can, you can put a clamp on the hose so it doesn't drain out on you and it sits in there as long as possible. But I think you're gonna be pretty amazed by what comes out of this AC system. We'll pull the tube out and we will kink the tube off. You can, like I said, you can put a clamp on it if you need to. Let that set 15 minutes. We'll be back. Three hours later. Now you can see the cleaning products coming out of the condensation tube and it's going right into our little tub here. This will be real interesting for you to see. So stick around. All right, here's the uh, garbage that came out of there, the initial part of it, and it'll keep coming out of there as you run your AC, but that's pretty nasty. The smell inside the car is awesome. It smells great inside. It just smells so clean, and you know it is now. Do this once every three years, and your AC will stay working great. Be ice cold. You won't have to worry about mold and mildew garbage and stench all right I wanted to share this with you it's a little bit tougher to show you under the car what we actually pulled out of that this is that container I shared with you before that right there is what came out of that evap system 